opportunity. But she's a product of Tree United. Yeah. Yeah. And I never wanted to sing a hard out and walk out of here and we act like, even if we don't know the song, learn the words when she sing it. Because, because if you won't give her a sense of acceptance, I guarantee you the world will. The world will. So together, together, I just didn't like what I saw, so I wanted to step in because that's my role as pastors to bridge those gaps. So the next time, and that next time may be a moment from now, uh, that they get up and sing their song from the best, of, the best they know how from their heart. I don't want you to sit on that. In fact, we're going to reverse it. Come right back on this. We're going to do it all over again. Because it needs to be done, right? Because anything done for the glory of God has to be done right now. I'm going to give you the whole glory of God. Right now. I'm going to give you the whole glory of God. For real, for real. For real, for real. For real, for real. songs is this. I stopped by their worship, their praise and worship on Wednesday, and I told them every time you introduce a new song, people have emotions associated with old songs. As old as Amazing Grace is, you sing it, everybody in this room connects because we've got emotions wrapped around it. But when you introduce a new song, there are no emotions. Your mind go into the mode of trying to learn, observe what is being sung way before your emotions get engaged. But when you talk about an open heaven, an open heaven, an open heaven to bring abundance on your family and your finances, and your friendships. Mm, in some cases, he's the God of the rain over your folks. Amen. Those who hate, a, hate on you. We want to be sure that we are praising God and asking for hope. How many people need a for real open heaven in an area of your life? I know I do. I know I do. I know I do. Uh, I've got some family members I wish I could just put right under the open heaven. And while I'm in church today, I'm just going to intercede for somebody else. I'm going to intercede for somebody who isn't here today. So they're going to sing this verse one more time because they put a lot of work into learning that song, rehearsing it on Wednesday. The band was here earlier this morning at 10 o'clock. Amen. Praise God. Rehearsing, getting ready for us. I want to make sure the experience is right. Is that it? Can I get a witness in here? All right. And we've got to bridge the gap between the young because they ain't going to always be young, baby. I was 21 years old when I started. They used to call me the young pastor. Ain't nobody calling me that now. All right? Come on, let's join together.
Oh, 